December 15th. Life on the margins, Rahab. Scripture is Joshua 2, 3 to 14, and 2 Corinthians 5, 17 to 19. What do you do? That is one of the first questions a lot of people ask when they first meet someone. We often make quick judgments of others based on how they look, where they live, or what kind of job they have. Many probably judged Rahab. She lived a life of poor decisions, probably some from others that affected her and some from her own. The results of these decisions and actions caused people to not respect her, but unknown to them, perhaps she wanted something more. When Israelite spies arrived to scout out Jericho, Rahab offered to protect them. She had heard stories of of the God of Israel, the loving Lord of all creation, who would forgive her and love her. So Rahab protected the Israelites from Canaanite soldiers, giving major assistance to the spies' mission. Because of her help, Israel gained significant intelligence for their battle against Jericho. As a result, she was welcomed into the nation of Israel. Her actions showed evidence of her newfound faith in the God of Israel. This woman, who lived the type of life that caused her to be an outcast, found acceptance with God's people, and God's love for her was so great that he included her in the lineage of Christ. As we prepare for Jesus' birth, we can remember that Jesus didn't come only for good people, he came for everyone, including those who made really bad decisions and have messed up. Rahab's story reminds us that God can redeem anyone and that he uses the most unlikely of us in his plans. Let's reflect. Who are some of the outsiders, the people on the margins of society in your world? What would you do if they came to your church? And let's pray. Ask God to give you his heart for a lost world.